Hello everybody, it's Fanny Menardi. <laughs> I hope uh, you're doing good. Uh, Happy New Year. I wanted to make a new, vi a new video today to uh, say hi and talk to you about so much. So I don't know where to start, but <laughs> there is a lot I want to actually say. Um, since... Uh, Let's start with that. I've been uh, reposting the Chuck Adventure this week. And so going through each chakra, right, of our energy centers, it's funny because it's like leveling up, right? It's like the elevator. I was re-watching this uh, video from the elevator from the Art Riviera Tour uh, two years ago in Saint-Tropez. And it was like, okay, I had to constantly try to level up and mostly that the energies have been so strong since the beginning of the year. I was sick. And to tell you the truth, every time I read about uh, all the symbols, uh, sometimes I get sick because the energies are so strong that um, it's like, you know, an overcharge on the body. And then, or you get attacks sometimes, energetic attacks. Um, because there's guardians, there's guardians, they're protectors, you know, and sometimes you can use crystals to help catalyze the energy. It's like an antenna, right? Instead of a solar panel. Okay. It's not one solar panel can take all the energy. It's got to energy diffuse into what's around it. So if you have people around you, you're becoming a community, you're uh, connecting to receive all this energy, these light codes, these rays of consciousness, right? As pillars tend to manifest, materialize it, redistribute it on, on the earth, in the 3D world, and, and so on. So it's, it's both ways. And... And so this has, you know, I was like, maybe you're going, maybe you're going through this. My friend Marcy, she was saying that she had headaches as well. Uh, so and there's things that are like hard to explain. I was like oh, weird pains and stuff. Most, most of the time, it's when I touch to these knowledge and prophecies and or deep connection with people. So I've been introducing everybody this week, but let me tell you more about like my story and how I started. I used to be a, a French teacher coordinating events. I lived in Peru, I've lived in Bahrain, uh, working at um, French Alliance Francaise, French organization with the embassy to spread the cultural awareness of the French and the language and that was amazing you know meeting cultures from everywhere in Peru also like people were so welcoming in the nature this is really when I developed this connection with nature Pachamama and then I came to the US I met the, my husband I came to the US and we had our child it's been a long process of like doing paperwork and years before finally settling and having our child and, you know, leaving kind of all my, my past, my, I mean, I didn't never left it because I reinvested it. You know, I reinvested it in my travel books that are available on my website, by the way, reinvested it into then my art, I started creating the art that has helped me also to becoming a mother, to fulfilled while I'm raising the child. And it's really difficult to raise a child. I'm, you know, my husband being in Navy was always working a lot, you know, doing everything he could for us, working so much. And so naturally, you know, I don't know, I was painting and then... People started buying my paintings, so I wanted to stay first. I'm super grateful uh, for the people who bought my paintings. Um, 
support me along the way. I'm also the author of the Mother Earth Mandala Oracle uh, with US game system. So I, I started painting and once I had like 20 painting, 30 paintings, I wrote, to, I found this very beautiful Oracle from US game systems and I wrote to them and then we published my Oracle. And right away that same year, I had the um, colors of a, a big orders from my friend Stacy that I'm so grateful for, for the Children's Hospital of New Orleans. I created a collection of 30 paintings. Oh, that's actually, I have it here. Oh, <laughs> um, I don't know why last minute I was like, I'm going to take this, this collection just to show it. I wanted to um, spread the colors, you know, through very simple designs, very simple designs to show to the children that even if you're not very good at drawing, even if you're not um, super good, you know, at, at painting and stuff through very simple shapes and, and symbol, you see, I'm, I'm pretty bad at drawing characters, but I just found some pictures and silhouettes and I drew them. And you see, this one is super pretty. I wanted really the kids to dive into the painting and to make them come to life, you know, by suggesting like a lot of symbolism, like the matrix, you see the grass symbolizes how we live in this holographic world where the grass and things that can be the most natural, you realize that it's all within the great machine of the universe and maybe we say it's a computer because when you look at the rays of the sun, when you look at, you see geometry engraved like into the light almost and shapes and, and numbers like in the matrix. And you're like, this is the, the computer, the hologram. Uh, this one, healing wings. The transformation, the transformation and the echo, how each of our actions, see, we're all a little drop in a circle and we ripple and that create the mechanism, the mechanics, you know, the harmony, the art of the, of the life and the universe. Um, this one, look at this. And so as I was painting, I was creating mandala, as I was creating landscapes and stuff like that, these things started happening like in my life or resurging like memories. And yesterday I was talking about Tot, uh, the tablets of emerald that I have here. And I want to read an extract uh, because from Billy Carson, <laughs> Hey, Billy, and uh, Forbidden Knowledge team. You know, I want to, why do I keep all making this publicity for everybody, this advertisement? It's not to brag, oh, you know, of course I want to be friends. Of course, I'm, why? Because you have no idea while experiencing all this. Like Todd, I was posting yesterday that when Todd is not so much, it, I imagine that he's got this strong healing power. It, it has like this strong healing power, to, but mostly it's the powerful eye that sees everything. That's the message of Todd every time he comes, uh, I, I'm reading the book or I read a, a passage of the, the prophecy and it's literally manifest in my life like like crazy in a way that I've, I'm going to be facing a situation like triggered by a situation that reminds me of like something from the past that nobody knows you know that <laughs> and that's for example when we were in Guadeloupe I see this black cat where we're in a hike and I see this black cat that really wanted to come with us, you know? And so that really triggered like, and in the end, like we didn't take him. We like, we couldn't take him. I mean, we could have, but uh, it just tr 
trigger like i felt like it was an entity come here like to test you know to send a test and see like who are you when no one's watching you know like dean always says but and every time it, it makes me like travel to the past and get to this memory like that triggers and that makes me realize wow we are being watched all the time <laughs> like your consciousness sees everything you can't lie to yourself like you can't hide things from yourself so because you're connected to this consciousness this hologram computer atoms science stardust uh, ether that connects everybody you can't everything is seen so in the karma the thing like come back to you i don't know that's just like wow very strong and this has had so much amplification uh, i would start talking about it to my friends or my husband and like no one would believe me like literally they'd be like oh yeah no that's good but um i mean you know you need to get back to reality or you know i would have it things to talk about and they'd be like oh no i think you're crazy like you're not that important or like things like this all the time or then i came to jacksonville and i don't know it was like either people were like jealous or don't know scared i don't know um that there was this like i would just be the newbies and people would like go to the beach all together to post like pictures all together you know and like specifying hey you know <laughs> kind of like glad you're not here almost and i don't know it's it was just like why do people got to be like that you know and then i would be trying to work with people you know and I would always be like, I don't know, um, kind of like try to hide, you know, like, why does it have to hide? Like, if you're not doing anything wrong, uh, so <laughs> getting lost. All this to say that, or my dad, for example, like when I told him, hey, I got this um, this uh, collection for the hospital, he'd be like, oh yeah, well, that was just luck, you know? And you constantly hear things like that. It makes you just want to give up, you know? And so I'm, I want to talk about the power of, just so much i want to talk about the power of like positivity you know i used to be so positive i used to be give so much and cheer everybody up and until it's just like people like they cut your enthusiasm they cut your enthusiasm they cut your enthusiasm and then or you're trying to like be friend with people and be like supportive and be like hey and then no answer no answer no answer no answer if it's just one time two times it's okay i mean people are busy you know but when it's a constant like <laughs> constantly like no answers or negative answers or people ignoring you being bullied harassed people would, like literally come to my house um like hostile or invite me to somewhere just to be hostile or you're like what did i do to deserve that like just trying to be friend with everybody um so so of course the day that i met my mentors <laughs> one day i read 
you know, I would tell story that no one believes me. And I was that like, okay, so I can't talk too much about my art. One day, for example, I posted something with my art. And because when you're painting, like I said, it unlocks this telepathy. It unlocks this remote viewing, even though you're not aware of it. Sometimes I'm, I'm recording a video and I sound just like someone else. Or I look, I kind of almost like shape-shifting look like someone else and or I would paint something and then I would see something related like in the news two days ago or I would learn something related like the same day that people would misinterpret and like that's uh, that created like chain reactions I mean and and then the, the, the fire letters are I was starting to paint the fire letters and then I'm being told that I shouldn't uh, use the letters which is supposed to be a language that belonged to the Inca and the Atlantean and the Lemurian. So now I'm accused of like plagiarism for something that belonged to thousands of people. I mean, I don't know, you know, hundreds of thousands of like civilizations. Um... All this stuff, one thing after another, after another, after another, after another, that, you know, I used to be super positive, but you can be such your enthusiasm. So, and mostly in France, people will tell you, like, we're, we're not go-getters in France. We're not, um, we don't have this challenging, you know, attitude. Some, of, some do, but most of the time we're, we, we want to enjoy life and have a lot of support from the system. And there is here too, there is a lot of support. But what I'm trying to say is that when you meet mentors, we don't have mentors. We don't have uh, um, summits and stuff like that. Uh, motivational, a little bit, but it's not to the point I see that once we've been so deceived like by society and disappointed and resignated, it's every day that you have to do the work on, on yourself. And when I met Dean, Tony Robbins, started reading the books and then I was like, they lived exactly the same thing. That when my father, my father would tell me to just like give, give up everything I've, I've done, my paintings, my life, my house, Many people are telling me, just leave everything. Just leave everything. Go back to France with nothing. The way you left, even worse. Like, because now you have a child to take care of and there's no one to help you, <laughs> you know? Um, so never feeling like supported. And, and then that's why my community online that one day I met and that every day motivates each other, every day um, works like to show that they can do better, that we can do better as a community. You know, I was seeing my coach, my boxing coach and his family, you know. I'm always promoting people online because online I promote more of the people online, but even around here, like, you know, my friend Davi, how she created her vegan restaurant and now it's a whole thing in Jacksonville. My friend Meshik and her husband, my coach, boxing coach, men of loyalty, they're amazing with everything they do for the children and the community always trying like to launch new projects and awesome boxing classes by the way. And they're really like amazing people like that that you know whether it's at a local level or it's a massive level online, that's what I always say, you know, what's each level matters. And so these, these letters, these fire letters that were also engraved in our DNA and the cosmic gates of the universe in the infinitely small to the infinitely big, it's like the bridge because we even are so small in the universe, like we're infinitely small in the universe, but when we look in terms of the consciousness, you're infinitely big as well. So when you're able to go like that, 
that small even like to see like an atom and like the codes of everything then you <laughs> unlock to the entire matrix i mean that's crazy so yeah when you know my dad was telling me to give up and then i have a training from dean an email from dean who's like hey you know keep going blah 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 and keep going you can do better you can bring peace you can you know sometimes i'm like how how do you see all these people like i had one of my best friends one of my best friend telling me um oh you know how i've been like living off depending on my husband for 10 years which is not true because i've always been working until i had to have a baby you know I've always followed around and actually found to work everywhere i've been everywhere i've been i've always made something mostly when you see mostly my close friends who see everything i do everybody who comes here and they tell me wow no matter what it looks from the outside you're amazing you're amazing mom everything you do for your child like you cook for him you make sure he has a beautiful house you do activities for him you're trying to deal with tantrums to educate him like you know you do a lot and then you hear like people telling you that you know you're not doing anything and plus I'm doing the art for myself and plus I gifted my art because when I I've had friends who buy from me art thank you but for years and my friend Stacy who ordered 30 paintings since New Orleans but after that when there was these candles these like jealous people or who would misinterpret and I'm gonna read I want to read a some passages today because to show the vision behind it because I could be like why am I always like promoting other people who obviously you know everybody's doing their own thing I should be only you know focusing on my own thing but no it's the the job now mostly with the social media how we've been separated you know, and now we rely on the social media, but when it comes to like, uh, actually go outside and do the things, it's becoming more and more difficult because we're sucked into the, the 3D, or at least me, maybe not everybody, but, but why is it so important? I'm going to read you the passage because it's the vision that needs to be materialized. Okay, I'm going to read. So, so yeah, when, so yeah, just to finish on my point that when you see a real community that is in tune with each other and always positive, that can refill your energy, you know, in an instant, just by showing, yes, this is real, this connection, this is, uh, there is this language, there is this symbolic language, this, music you know of the words and the images all of that and and when you read stuff like i'm going to read you're, you're like oh my god i have to share this because sometimes i'm like oh maybe this is too much maybe i should not share it i'm just going to keep it to myself i'm just going to keep and then i see something and then i see something either on the tv and then or I talk to someone who's like really like, who doesn't see like past some levels of like life, you know, like, like I said, or my dad would be like, I mean, you know, anyways, uh, or friends who tell you like, you know, pretty much what you're doing is not worth it just because of the financial aspect, like, Man, the financial aspect with everything, like how much is it worth to be a parent, to be home, you know, raising your, your children. This is valuable. This is, 
like for me, I always feel like I should always try to be a better parent. I should always try to have more time for my child, uh, play with him or talk to him. But at the same time, I'm, for example, for Esteban, I'm like, I would like him to know all this stuff, you know, because then life becomes so magical. See, I have my unicorns here. That probably sounds super simple what I'm saying. I'm very like basic. Um, but it's not. Because then I find myself in, in a mood where I like feel alone and lonely. And I'm like, if I didn't have that, which is for many people who actually don't see that or don't have that. If, if I didn't have my mentors at some point of my life, if I didn't have my mentors, I was just like free falling, like free falling. I just didn't know what, how to raise my child. Then he wasn't there. He was always like gone on the ship working. Um, nobody here, nobody here. If I didn't have like this push every day, this mentor, this communication, this connection that you know, it's not even about myself. It's who would I be for my child? You know, it's already hard when I think I have everything together and they're like tantrums, tantrums, tantrums. It's already hard to know what you're doing if you're a good state of mind because it's not just your mentality. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. It's not just being positive. Sometimes you have crazy people who are jealous of you, who wants to hurt you or who misinterpret you and... Um, you know, like I've literally had people invite me to lash me, you know, I'd be like, okay. <laughs> um, when like, I wouldn't be in contact for a long time. And I mean, it's just like, um, so yeah, important to to find that, to, to recreate this trust and this interest that makes me want to, to keep sharing it, okay? Okay, I'll drink a bit. And then, <clears throat> okay, and then Todd said, Liz, okay, I'm reading the old accent, okay, but it's uh, kind of like, Liz, listen, Liz, ye, listen, ye, oh man, hear ye my voice, teaching of wisdom and light in this cycle, teaching ye how to banish the darkness, teaching ye how to bring light in thy life, seek ye, oh man, to find a great pathway that leads to eternal life as a sun. Draw ye away from the veil of the darkness. Seek to become a light in the world. Make of thyself a vessel of light, a focus for the sun of this space. Live through thine eyes to the cosmos. Live through thine eyes to the light. Speak in the words of the dweller. The chant that calls down the light. Sing though the song of freedom. Sing though the song of the soul. Create the high vibration that will make thee one with the whole. Blend all thyself with the cosmos. Grow into one with the light. Be though a channel of order, a pathway of law to the, of law to the world. So when I read that, when I read that, I'm like, why did they leave the importance of that light of speaking it up? This is one of the points I wanted to say because we're going to talk about a little bit of the fire letters as well. Because every time I, I talk about the, the fire letters, something happens to me, okay? <laughs> I get sick or um, cursed or crap happens. Um... 
not because it's negative, it's the opposite. It's because there's, there's guardians, right? There's guardian for the equilibrium. Okay, so if you go get something that's really raising in light or in frequency or the super amplifier, then you have things like pulling you, okay, for the, the energy. It's like pulling you down until it rebalances, like you have a strong... And then it's got to rebalance. It's going to re-level up, okay? But it's got time for the energies to come up so you feel it more. So while I'm reading about the fire letters and my energy rises a lot, my body, the physical, gets dragged behind, okay? So I get sick, my immune system, until... The frequency rises up. I'm never sick for a long time. And then this is going to, of course, go down a little bit, but this is going to go up. And then your body can align. Okay? And then it's, it's going to be the same. And then I can continue reading. I continue reading, my energy goes up. And then this time, my body's a little bit more used to it. So it's going to go up a little faster. And uh, that's why it's, it's every day. Like, I read a little bit about it and then something happens, like the same thing. I'm reading in a book. Uh, and so every time I read about it and then the stuff happened to me, I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm going to stop. Okay, maybe maybe it's because I'm wrong. Maybe it's forbidden knowledge, right? <laughs> and then I feel like a second wave that of like pressure, like, okay, what are you doing? tell about it you know <laughs> it's like at first it's like this um it's like when i went to my master's degree uh, interview uh every time i had an interview or something important something happens i go to my master's degree interview and i'm driving and exactly halfway i'm on the highway and there is this dark cloud black dark cloud literally like like in the movie like in the Truman show right when you have like the little cloud of rain like just over the guy uh over Truman like that same thing like I'm driving there is this giant black cloud that comes like just over like this mile section of the highway right and and it's and all of a sudden it's like white everything white like as thick as my jacket like you can't see anything and there's like ice cubes like that <laughs> falling in the car on the car in july right <laughs> so and i remember being like okay uh I, i'm i'm gonna stop here what do i do like do i turn around i go home and then i'm like wait i'm already in the middle no, I'm going to be in the weather, no matter if I turn around or if I keep going. So I just like, I'm like, it's okay. I'm just going to go. I'm just going to go as slow as I possibly can. I stop for a little bit. I stop for a little bit on the side of the road because I couldn't see. But then I was like, okay, I'm going to go as slow as I can. I couldn't do it because I know every time there is something like that, I have to go through and then it opens up. And literally, I go through, I drive like this for 40 minutes. I'm like, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. <laughs> and, and then I go through and the sky opens up. And the sky opens up. It's like blue sky. And then I, I start laughing. I'm like, man, I can't believe it. It's such a, a, a metaphor for life, right? How... Um, When you go through your challenges, then you have a breakthrough. But it's manifesting in our everyday life. Leave those eyes to the cosmos, you see, because we're so connected now to the elements and to nature. Which, by the way, Yeah, I keep it for later. Thy light, oh man, 
is the great light shining through the shadow of flesh. Free must thou rise from the darkness before thou art one with the light. Shadows of darkness surround thee. Life fills thee with its flow. But no, O oh man, thou must arise and forth thy body go far to the plains that surround thee and yet are one with thee too. You see, it's asking to, to connect. It's asking to travel. It's asking to connect, okay? Just, it goes beyond you. That's why the art, when I'm like, okay, I'm just going to do my own thing for myself. And then it says, you must arise, okay? And for thy body go, like, don't listen you know, move yourself far to the plains that surround thee and yet are one with thee too. Okay, the plains that surround you, okay? So it's the environment, but it's also the people, okay? Expand, tell your thing to the people. And I know every time, every time, like I say, every time I'm talking about thought or the fire letters, it's, it's always like this, a first wave of like, something's trying to scare you or test you or it's simply your energy trying to adjust and raise up and so you'll feel your body left behind by the time you just like when you have jet lag like i know when i travel from france i need a few days because my body's here my body travel but my energy is still you know fully re-anchoring to another place so when i travel i travel for a long time so So yeah, there is this dissonance because sometimes we travel so much faster than our body and sometimes it's like the opposite. I don't know, that's weird. Look all around thee, O oh man. Set thine own light reflected. I, even in the darkness around thee, thine own light pours forth through the veil. Seek though for wisdom always. Let not thine body betray. Keep in the path of the light wave. Shun though the darkened way. Know thee that wisdom is lasting, existing since the all soul began, creating harmony from by the law that exists in the way. List, O man, to the teachings of wisdom. List to the voice that speaks of the past of past time. Yes, I was, I was saying thought, specialty of thought is to bring back the past. Like go find, alors, I don't know if you're like a investigator or historian, um, this energy is super powerful because it, you're literally like able to go back to the past and like, Look for the information in the Akashic records. So, and so, you know, by the way, why is the connection so strong? Why is the connection so strong with the people you can find on the internet? First off, because you're able to travel so fast through the network. You can meet with people who are on the other side of the country or the other side of the world. So the connection is so fast, but... In life, they take, they can take longer in life to reach that level of like uh, being able to meet so often. For example, you're on internet, you're together every day. In real life, you don't get to meet like that often. Uh, but you realize how some of us know each other for a long time. Like some of us known each other for many lifetimes. And sometimes you don't know how to deal with it. You realize you're, we're playing character each life. We're like playing characters. And I look at the prophecies and I feel the characters, the people, you know, they talk about the masters, they talk about the 
flower of life, uh, the dweller and like cosmos, like light, all these like key words that were distributed to us to vibrate those words, those notions around us, ripple, okay, like the like the butterfly, right? To ripple like that. And the healing, this is how we raise the entire frequency. So when you recognize that, yes, we know each other, you know, and I'm like, I'm tired of being like, having to hide all of that. You know, the knowledge is knocking at the door. The knowledge is like, Hey, it's, it's time to say about it. It's time to, to let it out, the past time. So this is important because even though it looks so simple, this is the way to travel timelines and to manipulate the strings of reality. I know this is crazy. This is crazy. You understand. You're like... Every time I, I come, I take the book and I open a passage. I literally, I just, I open a passage and I read. It's like reading the news, of the, the newspaper, right? It's happening so on point, this connection. And now you, if you learn to trust yourself and listen to yourself, because many times I see something or I read something that is so on point, I don't even know it. And it, a few days after, a week after, I'm like, oh, what I realize, I realize how what I was writing at that time in my books, what I was writing on that post was I, me actually being accurately connected to the rest of the world and channeling the information. And we are all, we are all, but when we start to, then you, you're like, when you, you notice the experience, you're like, oh, wow, that was so accurate. Then it happens again. You're like, oh, what? that was so accurate. So now, instead of doing a constatation from now to something that passed, to learn to recognize it when it's happening in the present and you're having an idea or you're having a feeling to do something and you're like, oh, yeah, that's, uh, that's the accurate thing to do at the moment. Or that's the accurate information. Not necessarily to do it, okay? And that's what I like about the, um, the thought is that it has, you know, on some pages it says, spread my wisdom, uh, you know, expand uh, far to the plane that's around the D and stuff. But from other pages, it's going to say that silence is gold and to give space and to give time. And, and so how do you read it? It's depending on the, the mood, something I read last night and I, I opened it to this page. It's completely different energy. So the, the book is alive. The prophecies, the words, the poetry, they're alive. They live with us. It's not like a set book that is past and it's historical. No, these are alive. So the paintings is the same thing. When you're painting... Um, it, it just unlocks so much and something I forgot to say earlier is that yeah I was grateful to the people but after all of that nobody bought my paintings I didn't have any orders anymore I was, just, I was so tired of receiving no's and no's and oh, silence that I just like gave up you know I was like Mm, then I don't know some people gave up on me too and then I had no sales and, and that's why I got so passionate about the people who are passionate you know and and most of my best friends and so then the, the paintings I just give them away because if no one wants to buy them that's okay at, at least I want to gift them you know I'm working to make a living, yes, but mostly I'm doing what I love because I love to see people having the paintings. I love to see people painting 
And so for me to make the gift to send, so yes, I sent paintings to all of my mentors, literally everybody probably that I've ever tagged on this uh, page ever received a painting from me. Everybody who comes to my house, I illustrate to give them a, a painting or a, an oracle just because the art is meant to, you know, to be seen. The, you know, one thing I wrote about one of the paintings is like, thanks, it's a painting about flowers and the flowers are saying, thanks for looking at us because thanks to your eyes, they will last forever. You know, thanks to you looking at these flowers, thanks to you looking at my art, it will last forever. This is why I'm constantly, you know, giving the art, but so promoting it and it gives me purpose. If it gives you, and I think you should, because this is so magical. Um, like I said, I wish everybody would see, not have the same opinion as me, but there's so many levels, you know, that are available in, in life. And like Dean says, to be the thermostat, right? <laughs> and I always remember that image. I... I shall tell, okay, I, I shall tell thee knowledge forgotten. Tell ye of wisdom hidden in past time. Lost in the mist of darkness around me. Know ye, man, ye are the ultimate of all things. Only the knowledge of this is forgotten. Lost when man cast into bondage, born and fettered by the chains of the darkness. The darkness is also not to see. Not to see in the dark time, the the hard time, the challenges. Long, long ago, I cast off my body, wander I free. Through the vastness of ether, cir circled the angles that hold man in bondage. Know ye, O oh man, we are only a spirit. The body is nothing. The soul is all. Let not your body be a fetter. I don't know what that is. Cast off the darkness and travel in light. Yeah, Todd is a time traveler. So <laughs> it talks about the astral traveling, right? How you're able to, but not just like astral traveling, but also how you're able to travel your your mind like for me all this is about the access of the information how the most incredible things for me that uh, amazes me about all this, this magic and this this telepathy is the access to the akashic library the so many times that i would be channeling a book without even knowing it. And then I open the book and I read exactly the thing that I'm saying and that I was, wow. So then we're able to have telepathy. We are able to, uh, and so we're like, oh, what, what's going on? <laughs> you know, we have to adjust to that too. I accept that it's real. Um, and yeah, I want, and the body, so yeah, I wanted to also um, give a shout out, like I said, men, men of loyalty. Uh, they are my trainers and they're amazing. I want to go back to boxing. And by the way, if you're in Jacksonville and watching this 48 minutes later, I don't think you're still watching, but if anyone <laughs> watching, um, let's go train. Let's go train. Boxing is awesome. It's a good exercise. Um, to um, let go of your energy, we need it. We need it because um, through the social media, it's easy to make an opinion of people, you know, but sometimes it would be so easier to just like answer, you know, um, you don't need to grind every time to have 
things that you need. That's why people pave the way. That's why you pave the way. So when you come to a painting, you don't have to try to figure out what, how do the colors work, how you put a background to design. No, I've gone through all this for years now. I know, you know, the best and most colorful contrast, contrasting way to do it. Um, so it's the same for our works where we don't need to start over everything. We can continue each other's work and support. Okay, so now I'm going to do a reading. Okay, so you, we had this beautiful extract from Tat. Uh, it's kind of a slow class today, sorry. I'm hard to get back into it. Uh, but I'm actually planning a retreat at my house in February, beginning of February, uh, to learn to paint, to talk more in detail about all that, uh, share our experiences. We're going to do cooking classes. So it's going to be really cool. And right now I wanted to talk about the spirit, spirit animal oracle from Colette Baron Reed. Uh, that was very beautiful. Where are the cards? Today it's like an expression day that we didn't record. And the animals have a lot to say, you know. Okay. Oh, yes, the cards don't spread really good, but we have <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm going to put them back on there. <laughs> no. Um, okay, so the turkey spirit, I just think that's funny. Yes. Oh, my God. Actually, that's perfect. <laughs> and, the, okay, the turkey spirit. Give with gratitude. Give with gratitude. And... Yes, the art retreat, it's going to be all vegan. Okay, we're going to do a cooking workshops, all vegan. And all this to say, you know, talking about all the stuff that people said, I've lived, experienced, and we all live tough experiences. But when we finally gather, okay, the tension can build up on social media. Uh, not necessarily tension, but the gap also between friends, between people, can, you know, um, get bigger from social media. But once you meet up, when we do the workshops and where we're here together, it's actually really cool, really fun to do it. So I have this opportunity to be at the house uh, first week of February. So I want to invite you to sign up. It's going to be an art retreat for four days. Four days, four nights, uh, we're going to paint, we're going to cook. I'm going to show you the best books. Um, we're going to do movie night. Um, talk about, of course, symbols and paintings and the flower of life. So it's a flower of life painting workshop. And just so we can reconnect. And I don't have many spaces left, though. I mean, I don't have many spaces because you're staying at my house. OK, so I have three rooms. Three rooms, so I have three persons, uh, three persons, one person per room, unless you're coming with a friend or your couple that can share the room, then I can, you can have a plus one, let's say. Um, otherwise, yeah, I have three uh, spaces available. And also because we're going to be cooking, everything uh, can't have like, it's going to be a lot of cooking if it's like eight persons um, and lots of setup I feel like we would just be like cleaning and cooking and stuff all the time while well, I want it to be really like relaxed and us like cooking having fun drinking painting so it's very uh, maybe five person max okay if you can share a room with someone then I have to space otherwise it's a room per person and if you're sharing the room with someone that second person has 50% on the, the workshop. Okay, so 
it's going to be really cool. I'm looking forward to it. I've had a lot of people ask me uh, where, if we could paint a bigger painting than the ones that we do in four hours in the workshop. So it's going to be a 16 by 20, just like the Metatron's ones that I painted. Um, it's going to be big, bigger paintings like that. Just like I did with Alice uh, in the summer. Uh, we were painting that was cool. Or Karine who painted that behind me. And the other one is the Wombat Spirit. Be at home. I don't even know what a wombat is. It looks like a cute... Cute little marmotte. Be at home. So yeah, we're gonna be at home, painting and just relaxing, taking care of ourselves. Uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. This is such a beautiful oracle. Okay, I'll pick one more card from it. Nightingale spirit. Cute little nightingale with a little crown and a little um, echo instrument. How do you call that? They're like little bell. They're like flowers. They're flowers. They're flowers, but they look like little trumpets. Let me read that card. I like it. The Nightingale Spirit. Love is all around. In the darkness of night, Nightingale Spirit sings her song of love and hope, the harbinger of dawn, to remind you that the sun will rise again soon. You are so loved. And the illumination song of the nightingale spirit calls you to a new level of self-awareness and connection with the light. Yes, there is shadow and darkness, but love and prosperity exist everywhere, even in the seeming emptiness of space, darkness, and a starless night. Hearken to the message, letting the music of the nightingale song remind you that love is all around. Feel it and trust in tomorrow's light, renewing your ability to recognize that the spaces that appear empty are filled with love and abundance. Illumination will happen soon. Wow, listen to that. The darker the skies, the more it seems the dawn will never appear. But Nightingale Spirit is here to remind you that the sun will shine again. This is just what we were saying about the, when I was driving and the skies became really dark. <clears throat> you will soon feel the love and notice the abundance that surrounds you. Sing now, put on some music, or simply sing in the empty space. That's what I'm doing right now. For finding the light within and giving it voice will give rise to hope and help you begin to hear the call of another who, like you, was beginning to, beginning to fear the light would never come. Bring the light into the darkness with love from within. Give it voice and know that daybreak will be here soon. <laughs> it's funny because daybreak is the name of the company that was going to install my solar panels. <laughs> so I guess I am going to install... <laughs> Literally... <laughs> Um, Debbie, yeah, we will be here soon. Um, imagine like ding dong. <laughs> this happens all the time, by the way. Uh, yes. So, and yeah, the secret of uh, and the secret of the the fire letters. You know, they're talking also about the the solar energy and. These are passionating. Like I said, these are super high frequency stuff. I talk about it in my angel pack. It's a very long and slow session, but at the same time, I just feel like this is all that's needed. It's to, to show that we're here, you know, to show that we're here and say why. Why do we keep doing this? Why do we keep 
sharing a breakthrough because when my friend Marcy, she shares one of her breakthrough, exactly I'm living the same experience at, the, at this time and it helps me. When I see, you know, Tony Robbins and like Russell Bloranson and Dean like in the same room and with a bunch of like other people who are like really successful, who are like, you know, not even 40 years old and you're like, wow, it's possible. <laughs> It's possible to, to go there, but not with people that are constantly not seeing, like, I don't know, or that are just mean. The ego and the elephant. Learn from the past. I learn from the best. I learn from you. <laughs> and the ego. Yes, the time of the prophecies when the ego spirit and the condor drawing forces together. And sometimes I see how I'm trying to like stump into things, you know, sometimes you're impatient and you're, you, sometimes I'm like, what is, that would have been so easy if the door was just open, you know, you don't have to grind all the time for everything. There's a lot of uh, frustration could be avoided in when you just like, respond you know even if it's a negative answer but i'm more at peace with the people in my life who told me hey i'd rather not work with you or you know i don't have time for that than people who just like ignore you All right, everybody. So thank you for watching. Um, so I'm going to publish all the details for the retreat, the art retreat. And I hope to see you soon. Have a good day, everybody.